If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can export artboards as separate PDF files in Photoshop to create separate PDF files from the artboards in a single Photoshop document if needed. Note that this is a separate process from using the standard export as feature or quick export feature to export artboards as image assets, which is discussed separately in a later chapter. Also note that this process is identical to the artboards to files feature as shown in the previous lesson titled how to export artboards to files in Photoshop, except that this process skips letting you select a file type and only shows the export options for PDF files. To export artboards as separate PDF files in Photoshop, open the artboard document in Photoshop. Optionally, to only export selected artboards in the document, select the Artboards to Export within the Layers panel. Then choose File, Export, Artboards to PDF from the menu bar to open the Artboards to PDF dialog box. The current destination folder for the exported artboard files appears within the Destination field. To select a different output destination folder for the exported artboard files, click the adjacent Browse button to open a Select Destination dialog box, navigate into or select the folder within the dialog box, and then click the OK button to finish. Optionally, to set the file name prefix for the exported files, type it into the file name prefix field, which defaults to the name of the Photoshop document. The name of each exported artboard is appended directly to the end of this prefix. To set the export content options, select either the Include Overlapping Areas or Artboard Content Only option to choose what to export within each file. To export only selected artboards in the Layers panel, check the Export Selected Artboards checkbox. If unchecked, all artboards are exported instead. To include the artboard background in the exported file, check the Include Background in Export checkbox. If unchecked, artboard backgrounds are not exported. To then set the export options for the PDF files, change the settings in the Options section. To create one PDF and create each artboard as one page within it, select the Multi-Page Document Option button. Alternatively, to create one separate PDF document per artboard, select the Document Per Artboard Option button. To select the artboard image file encoding in the PDF, choose either the ZIP or JPEG option. ZIP is a lossless compression that creates larger files. JPEG creates smaller files by compressing data, but therefore loses some data. If you select the JPEG option, select the JPEG quality by using the adjacent quality slider. To include or exclude the Photoshop document's ICC profile in the PDF, check or uncheck the Include ICC Profile checkbox. To include or exclude each artboard's name, check or uncheck the Include Artboard Name checkbox. If checked, to set the font formatting for the artboard name, use the Select the Font, Select the Font Style, and Select the Font Size Settings in the Name Options section that then appears at the bottom of the Artboards to PDF dialog box. To set the Canvas Extension Color for the artboard name, Use the Canvas Extension Settings drop-down or Adjacent Color Swatch. To set the font color for the artboard name, use the Color Swatch for the text setting. To reverse the page order in the artboard PDF, check the Reverse Page Order checkbox. If needed, to cancel the artboard PDF export, click the Cancel button in the Artboards to PDF dialog box. Alternatively, to finish exporting the artboards to files, click the Run button in the Artboards to PDF dialog box, 
and wait for the scripted process to finish. If the export was successful, a script alert dialog box appears on screen to inform you of that fact and show the folder location of the exported PDFs. Click OK in the script alert dialog box to close it. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.